go to the court or to the police because most of the cases when we understand or uh, when we understand that uh, uh, one girl is trapped she is no more a minor normally it's a major and uh, when we go to the police Uh, they they decide what they uh, their future and so uh, normally we cannot uh, we cannot handle the case uh, for example once uh, this is uh, one of our youths did uh, or two youths did the case one girl was trapped uh, when she was in the ninth standard and uh, the family didn't know this is uh, one family from uh, where i live in north kerala and uh, uh, these young people they are christians when they knew about this they uh, went to the house of this girl at the time she was 18 and first they informed the parents and that is the first time how they were informed about the case they didn't know about this and uh, when they spoke with the parents uh, the girl understood the case and she was so furious and she was so reluctant to speak with the these people at the end uh, they in uh, told her that uh, it was not so they wanted to learn something about this or about islam and so then they had to speak with this uh, this girl for 7 8 hours at the end some kind of conviction you know, come so that they could bring or uh, asked the family to bring this girl to a counseling center where uh, she can be handled the problem is uh, they are brainwashed this happens in in maybe two or three days how they do this it is difficult to understand when they trap the girls in the schools or when they go to college or so and when once they are trapped uh, this is very difficult to get out uh, out of this this brainwashing let's say is how that's how this goes